Hi, I'm Shona Wilson. Yeah. I am an artist, a sculptor, and I make assemblages from primarily natural found objects, but uh, as more and more human debris enters the natural landscape, that's starting to be incorporated into my work as well. It's a creative opportunity for me um, in terms of hybridity and evolution and what things could become and not letting ourselves be sort of bound by um, what's being taken away but more of what can become or what will come from climate change and, and uh, the evolving story of life. I've got a studio full of boxes, recycled containers of anything that I chance upon in my daily life, whether I'm in the city, on a street, or in the countryside, or on a beach, wherever I am, I'm collecting. So once the materials are collected, they're sort of sorted and processed to a point so that they're more stable. And then I go about, sometimes I have a, an idea already in my head, I can see it, but more often than not I start off with the actual pieces, with components, and I just start building and I see what works and what doesn't work visually. And then sometimes that will trigger off another idea and I'll know exactly what I'm going to make on the next one. And it sort of, it's a feedback loop and I allow myself to sort of be drawn around within that as well. I really do feel like I'm, I'm part of the creation, I'm not the creator because nature's already created so much of what I use in my work. And, and also man too, I mean the plastic components of these are made by other human beings as well. So I see myself as more of a, a rearranger. I, I usually start with the piece that I'm most attracted to. Um, in most of these cases it's been the body, the central core, and you grow up from a floor. Yeah. Just in terms of engineering and structure. But also through making these creatures, I, you do start to understand a little bit about how, why insects are the way they are. Well, it can appear a bit like a macabre sort of witch's den in my studio with legs and heads and antennas dissected. These are meant to be um, science, uh, specimens from a future museum. So they're, they're like, they're a uh, play between an old, old style sort of museum and a futuristic story. But they do have a relationship in that I've grouped them into families. Or in this is this is quite representational because um, I I wanted to tell a very specific story.